is the box the uh, Blackview BL5000 came in. It's just like the previous Blackview phone I had, which was the BV9000. That was another armoured, waterproof, dustproof, crushproof phone. Now this one is Android 11. It is 6.36 FHD IPS Infinity O display. 4,980 milliamp battery. It's got an MT6833 octo-core 2.2 gigahertz processor. I think that's a MediaTek. Uh, it's front 16 million pixel camera, rear 12 million pixel and 16 million pixel camera. It's also got eight gigabyte RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage with no ST card slot. SD card slot, that's T, SD card slot, micro SD. Um, not a deal breaker. I don't really keep a lot of files on the phone. Um, when I do download movies or download uh, videos for my drone and that I put them straight onto an external hard drive so not a problem anyway without further ado let's get on with the unboxing now I've already opened this up just to have a look inside just to see what's what make sure it's all there now I ordered this three weeks ago from Blackview in Hong Kong and it arrived by FedEx initially Tuesday was a missed delivery even though everybody was in, and Wednesday it was delivered. No, when, oh, sorry, Wednesday it was meant to be delivered, and it wasn't. It was carded, and Thursday it was delivered Thursday. Anyway, so annoyingly, it comes with a fast charger. Well, not annoyingly, it comes with a fast charger, but it's got the European two ping prong. And I've had to buy, if I can find it. No, I've mislaid it again. No, I've got a adapter I can plug in, so I can still use that. It also comes with a charge cable with a angled. If you can just see that, an angled connector, USB C connector, and a SIM eject tool, and the phone itself. Is I've got the orange version. It's quite. Let's, let's take it out of its sheath. Get it out. There we have it. It's got all the specs on there. You can see there what I've already read out. We read out. It, this is the five five G, first five G smartphone in the world. Blah blah. What I did notice when I had did open it, it, it had a little. I don't know if you can see that little mark here, little scuff, nothing too drastic. This is a pla uh, looks like a rubber case or rubber back. And I'm now going to do the. And everyone says, oh, that's very satisfying. Um, I've not charged this up and I've not turned it on yet, so I will turn it on. Just to see the black view sign, login, no sound or anything coming up so far. This phone only has one speaker. There we go. Hi there. So you've got the start, start screen, which I will set up at a later date, later on, because I'm off out. Meet my friends from work for a meal. Hopefully that'll all go well. well I am actually uh, drinking, having a drink, not driving. I'm getting a lift, so uh, it could get messy. So hopefully I won't get too too drunk. Not that I get drunk anyway. But anyway, I digress. So there we have it. It's a nice back to it. Now I have seen a tear. Someone on the YouTube has done a tear down, and there is only two working cameras. This one apparently is fake. It looks real, but on their version it's fake. Don't know why, but there you go. I'm not really worried about cameras. As long as it takes pic decent pictures, I'm happy as I've got the Pocket 2, which I'm recording this on, to take videos and pictures. Got an LED flash there. Not sure what that little hole there is for. And it's got a barometer built in. You've got an RGB flashing light there 
and here you've got 5G and Blackview. So all in all, it's quite a quite a hefty phone. Um, this is my daily driver at the moment, Samsung A95G with a case. It's very, very similar, very similar sizes, but this one's a little bit smaller. And the Samsung A90 with a case, same weight. As you can see, I'm using this as my monitor and for the phone, for the Pocket 2. So just get as a remote control as well. Let's pull our set back down there. So, yeah, all in all, I'm happy with what's arrived. I did get a notification from FedEx that um, I owe £57 in customs duty, import duty. Um, whether that was a scam or not, I don't know. It's yet to find out. Uh, the phone was $299, which worked out £138, £140. And that was delivery included. So we'll see whether I have to pay the £57 or not. Um, I won't go by a text message, that's for sure. Even though it had the correct tracking number on it. I will wait for a uh, invoice through the post or an email and then see if I can contact someone and see if it's real or not. So yeah, it, if it is payable, then it's obviously not the bargain I thought it was gonna be, but there you go. So this will be my new daily driver once I've got it set up and transferred all my apps over. And just to go through some of the, you've got the rocker, the sound buttons on up and down on and off button with fingerprint reader sim card tray it's dual sim but no tf uh, sd card slot and the usb charge cable flap is at the bottom so it's got a little dual flap there to obviously stop the water getting in get it back in again <clears throat> yeah so all in all it's a Looks like to be a robust phone. I've seen other people testing um, the waterproofness, toughness, etc. I won't be doing that because uh, I bought this myself. It's not a, a freebie from Blackview, so this is an unbiased review. I can't even turn it back off again. How do I do that? Yeah, I'll come to it later. Yeah, so I will be giving this a unbiased review once I get uh, up and running. Uh, this is advertised as a gaming phone. Now I'm not. I didn't buy it for a gaming phone. It was a toss-up between this and the BV or BL6000 Pro 5G. It's two 5G um, armored phones, waterproof phones. Uh, this one, no, it just seemed to be a better, better design. And the other one was dearer as well. So <laughs> that probably helped with the choice. But there we go. So that is a BL Blackview BL5000. I hope you enjoy the video and subscribe. Press the like button for more videos. I will be doing some more reviews of other tech and hopefully soon to get out with my drone and do some more railway themed videos. Updates of Winslow, the uh, East-West Rail Line. So... See you soon.